Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? This is Felix from NYNews.com. Let's analyze what the Yankees have been up to. Let's analyze what teams around Major League Baseball have been up to. As you've been hearing, if you're up with the Yankees news, you've been hearing that uh, Todd Frazier might become a New York Met. I'm predicting he might get a three-year deal. Just like Jay Bruce, his former teammate. They might be reunited in New York. Now, what does that mean? It means what I've been saying all along. If Frazier goes to the New York Mets, Brian Cashman had a game plan all along to obtain Manny Machado via trade. So pay attention there. Also, you Darvish. Michael Kay on his show today said that Cashman offered you Darvish $160 million for seven years. But he gave Darvish's camp 24 hours to accept. Obviously, they didn't accept it because it was early in the game. But that indicates that the Yankees are serious about obtaining a starting picture. And that picture will come via free agency. Because if you pay attention, arbitration, they want to speed up the process in getting those deals for the players eligible. They already have for Canely, for Hicks. And you should see more players getting their raises. But it's not that much. Cashman is being smart about it. But this also, again, signals to the fact that the Yankees are going to get a starting pitcher from free agency. What does this mean? That they're going to target a U Darvish. Also, people keep saying the Yankees can't get U Darvish and Manny Machado. Yes, they can. Obviously, I've laid down the groundwork on how one of these ways is possible. Three-way deal with the O's and Diamondbacks. I was hearing Michael K today on his show. A caller called up and said, Oh, let's trade uh, Ellsbury for Machado, whatever. And Michael K was like, Why would the Orioles take Ellsbury and trade Machado? And I guess Michael K doesn't see all angles and aspects to this. Obviously, for a great deal for all sides to work, you ship Ellsbury to the Diamondbacks. You get Corbin in a deal. Either he goes to the Yankees or Orioles. If the Orioles were smart and if Peter Angelos, not a sound like an asshole, nothing against people with dementia, but Peter Angelos is an old man. He's 88 to 89. Obviously, his general manager needs to take hold and take control of this trade or potential trades and signings. Obviously, Peter Angelos is driving his franchise into the ground. Obviously, he needs to leave it to his children soon or sell it. Obviously, he wants to get good offers. So, build up his farm system. Build a great team. Obviously, the Orioles can build a great team because they have the potential to obtain a Sonny Gray or Jordan Montgomery or Chance Adams. Sonny Gray and Corbin or Montgomery and Adams. It's so simple. It's just the simplest deal ever. If you can get the Diamondbacks and Orioles on the same page, you get rid of Ellsbury, Yankees might get Corbin, Yankees get Machado, the Diamondbacks get a closer, they get a few prospects from the O's and the Yankees, the Orioles get two starting pitchers and a third baseman with Andahar. So, like I said, it's not that hard to ship Ellsbury out. Obviously, there's no compatible deals with the San Francisco Giants. Shipping out Ellsbury to the Giants, who are the Yankees going to get? Who is a tr potential trading partner if a three- way deal as possible. I don't, I don't see it. The only trading partner I see is with the Orioles and Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks are in contention just like the Yankees 
And the Yankees obviously have all the big pieces that they are looking for. Obviously, a closer like Robertson or Batantis, or maybe a Chad Green if they're smart to ask for him, will help them dramatically. That's what they're looking for. So, the only trading partners that I see are the Oreos and the Diamondbacks. Frazier is about to go to the Mets. That's your potential, supposedly, third baseman. But like I said, the fix is in. This game plan was stalled off a long time ago. Obviously, if the Yankees wanted Frazier, they would have signed them a long time ago. So, like I said, I'll say within 48 hours, if Tall Frazier signs with the Mets, you'll see Manny Machado's name pop up yet again. And it will be linked to the Yankees yet again. So all of my predictions, how I said the Yankees were going to sign you Darvish. Obviously, word got out today that they already offered him a deal. Obviously, that was Cashman trying to get a feel of the market. Well, like I said, high possibility you Darvish is a Yankee. High possibility that they move Ellsbury and get Machado. The first domino to fall will be Todd Frazier to the Mets. I don't think the Yankees will contemplate trading with the Pirates and getting Harrison and Garrett. Cole, I think he's going to the Astros. The Pirates are asking for too many prospects. This is how you know he's going to the Astros when the Pirates are waiting for a top prospect. Another top prospect from the Astros to go to them. The same thing they did with the Yankees. I don't think the Yankees are going to budge, but I think the Astros will. So this is how you know the Yankees ain't going to do that because they aren't going to pull the trigger knowing that the Astros would have given up another top prospect, but the Yankees had to. And no, I don't see the Yankees signing Nunez. And no, I don't see the Yankees playing Andahor at third. They don't like his defense. That's the only reason he was called up for a few games or a game or two, whatever. They said he needed more work. Offensively, he's good, but defensively, he's not. So the only choice, the only blockbuster they'll make. Have you noticed, though, that the MLB and their writers or whatever freelance journalists, they keep spreading fake news. They keep trying to capture the attention from numerous people trying to get all the hits and stuff like that creating fake news just like today espn tweeted out a picture of austin romine and said he was kingly also yesterday the journalist from mlb network tweeted out that gary cole was an astro then no he wasn't it's just fake news everywhere like this hot stove has been crazy so like i keep saying this winter, this offseason has been one of the craziest I've ever documented. Another blockbuster is obviously on the horizon. Like I keep saying, I think the fix was in from the beginning. You saw Stanton come to the Yankees. They left it for early. Then maybe close to February or next week, you'll see maybe a Manny Machado become a Yankee. Obviously, like I said, when Todd Frazier... Wherever he goes, it looks like he's going to the Mets. When he goes to the Mets, you'll see the dominoes fall. And it's a high possibility, yet again, that Manny Machado will become a Yankee. 70% at this point, I'm still at 70%. I'm still at 60 to 70% for you, Darvish. Like I said, I could see you, Darvish, and Manny Machado being a Yankee in 2018. So... Stay tuned. This has been NYY News Felix. Subscribe to NYY News P and the Salmonetti Report. We got it all covered. MOB, Yankees. So like, subscribe, share. Get the word out about NYYNews.com. I try to be original and as creative as possible. So this has been NYY News Felix. Check you out next time.